uh, we're facing, uh, apart from September 16th, uh, in my view, uh, next week, Monday, will be one of the biggest days, if not the biggest day in our nation, for us to host two uh, global leaders, the leader of the biggest economy uh, and the leader of the free world in the United States of uh, uh, America, as well as uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi, the leader of the biggest democracy by population. Uh, they'll be here next week, Monday. And I just uh, take this time again to confirm to everyone that work is in progress, uh, not ourselves, but ourselves with also uh, the India team, as well as the USA team, uh, we have more than 200 uh, people already in Port Mosby uh, from the U.S. side, from the Indian side, all preparing, working with us to ensure that uh, next week Monday's meeting goes off uh, to plan and uh, concluded on a successful note, uh, beneficial to Pacific, beneficial to Papua New Guinea, uh, beneficial also to the two nations that we'll be meeting uh, in, in as far as uh, the specifics of those meetings are concerned. So all work is going on. I just thought I'd uh, uh, give face to all of you. I want to ask our country, let's rise up uh, uh, beyond uh, our own common issues we have in our country. Uh, just like we come together in uh, the Pacific Games, uh, we come together in uh, when Kumul is playing, uh, many of our, our national, national days and national events, this is the biggest moment. Of course, we had APEC, but APEC was a scheduled meeting. APEC was a scheduled meeting where its economies host a meeting every year going forward where other leaders were uh, are bound to come in and attend. Uh, but this meeting coming up next week, Monday, is unprecedented. The two global powerhouse leaders uh, choose to come into our country in their own accord. They could have ignored us completely, but they felt that it was important. They met us, and the meeting for FIBIC will, uh, will, will be completed, and then we'll move on separately into the meeting with the U.S. President. When the two leaders arrive, uh, we will have specific bilaterals uh, on behalf of Papua New Guinea with both Prime Minister Modi as, as well as President Biden, uh, but also their graces to extend uh, their time also to include all the other Pacific Island leaders in a combined meeting as well as on the side of the meetings, one-on-one uh, -on -one opportunity with all the Pacific Island leaders. Uh, Port Mosby once again will play uh, as, as a host city to this important meeting. We appeal more so to the Port Mosby residents. This week, leading up to next week and even beyond, I want the city to rise up and to welcome them with the peace and the and the togetherness we experience must not just be for this moment. As a nation, we have to live uh, in this sort of uh, uh, mindset going forward. Uh, USA leadership has indicated to me, and I'm meeting them again Tuesday by a ritual meeting, uh, uh, meeting was the officials in Washington uh, to discuss on uh, this uh, visit. Uh, but they've indicated to me that they're not, president is not just coming for government to government exchanges, uh, just coming for uh, a government agency to government agency or our defense and their defense exchanges, for instance, but he's bringing with him a pool of uh, businesses, especially in the manufacturing space. They've hit our call that we are now moving towards uh, processing our uh, PNG producers into finished, finished producers to sell. Just off the cuff, I just want to indicate to you, for instance, I did it, I did, uh, told uh, President Biden, you know, one day I want to come to USA and bring PNG made coffee. Just like you got Fiji and Fiji water in, in, in uh, USA, I want to drink PNG coffee uh, that is processed in PNG, exported back to US market. So I want to indicate to our country that this conversation with leaders that we are meeting is just not government to government engagements. More importantly, from the context of PNG, we are pushing the space of economic diversification, downstream processing, their manufacturers coming into partner PNG manufacturing, uh, located in our special economic zones. In the first instance, Port Mosby, Lay, and other areas where wolf is available uh, for us to get engaged in business. President Biden's team has indicated that he'd call 
they're coming with a specific aspect of looking into the manufacturing space. Uh, and of course, India also has given us indication that our commercial interest is also considered. And I'm happy that uh, we live in, in a time where uh, consciousness to Papua New Guinea's business potential is ramping up and not just conversation on government to government or politics. So today's conversation uh, to you, press, is to confirm to you work is in progress, meeting is taking place. I want the city and city people uh, next week, Monday, there will be a torn down, uh, torn down uh, sort of uh, 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 on, on Monday, school might be asked to uh, uh, cabinet on Tuesday, will uh, cabinet on Tuesday or Wednesday will approve what happens next week, Monday. Uh, we might torn down uh, living in Port Mosby next week, Monday, meaning that uh, we scale down, public servants scale down work, <coughs> school scale down. Uh, and we have our security apparatus that step up and our city coming out to put in a welcome for our, our key visitors will be in with, in, in with us on Monday and a meeting taking place on Monday. So the exact nature of the tone down that I'm, 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 I'm indicating here will be revealed to us possibly on Wednesday. And it may indicate that uh, schools are closed on Monday and public servants are scaled on in working on Monday. So that we, and, and, and business uh, movements certain parts of the city uh, isolated, restricted, so that we allow for ease of movement, uh, ease of travel. Uh, just to remind you, when the U.S. President comes in, the airspace is shut, the city is almost to a standstill uh, for the duration of his time. And not just us, but that's that's the protocol that he uh, receives wherever he travels in the, on, on, on Earth. So for us, the three hours that he's coming in, the city will come almost to a standstill. So. We will give you an exact update on this Wednesday, Thursday, as to how we will turn down uh, living in Port Mosby next week, Monday. Any question from anyone? Governor is prepared. To, I want to appreciate Governor and the City Hall. They are making necessary support. I'm, I'm privileged to have a very, very experienced Governor in the city. Uh, there is no price to experience, and uh, he's uh, stepped up in his own space, the City Hall and the City Administrator, and are giving us good support to ensure that uh, the city is also uh, uh, prepared to receive uh, the leaders coming in. And I want to appreciate Governor for some of the cleanups that is taking place, uh, some of the ceiling that is going on, and uh, the city all has been with us, more to Quetta. Uh, people are also asked to come out big in terms of welcome ceremony, uh, that more to Quetta culture will be put uh, to the fullest exposure, as well as rest of PNG. I want to appreciate the City Hall and want to quite also for being a good partner in the visit that is uh, happening. Governor, you want to say one or two words? Um, I just want to say this, that uh, maybe I said in Pidgin, I'm passing to me, culture and tradition to me long, look out in all guests. So based on this culture and tradition, um, city, we are prepared to showcase our country, our people, we are the capital city, so we carry the face and image of our people. They depend on us, and we understand this. At the city hall, we understand this. We understand the responsibility. We take it seriously. So city manager is uh, here over the other side. Our team has started working already. We are doing the basic to make sure that the city is clean. And as I said, it's our culture and our tradition. When leaders go to visit one village or one province in our country, we go extra, and so on this point, I want to uh, just um, assure the Prime Minister and our team at the National Coordinating uh, Committee that um, the CDO, uh, our management, entire board, we are working together to make sure that our capital city is shining and it's welcoming and it contributes to a great outcome for our people and our country. I just want to say thank you to uh, Minister Chachenko, who was leading very well, uh, one of our hardest working ministers, but uh, uh, due to the circumstances that uh, uh, was was uh, prevalent last week, uh, he himself volunteered to step aside, uh, knowing and he put it to me, borrowing his own word, the country is more important than Justin Chachenko. Uh, it's a big week coming up, uh, the country needs to prepare. I step aside, and uh, so I've assumed full responsibility as a uh, Foreign Minister. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, 
I choose not to go to UK with respect to the king, but I, I met him already. Uh, I stayed back for the, these two leaders' visit, and uh, we've taken uh, uh, most of the work uh, we've been working side by side with his team. Uh, the team remains Minister Chachakwa step aside. Uh, Minister Siamalili works from the security perspective, a lot of security operations. You know, as we go towards Wednesday, Thursday, uh, the security work will take precedence. And the foreign relations work will come at the side. So, Minister Simalini, you, you, you have a moment. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister, uh, Governor, uh, City Manager, Secretary, and all uh, MDs of uh, State Owned Enterprises, uh, uh, the agency departments. Thank you, Press. Uh, as the Prime Minister uh, highlighted how important this particular uh, visit will be for Papua New Guinea. In terms of security, uh, just want to give comfort to people blame me Long Papua New Guinea, particularly our citizens living in the capital city. Uh, we also want to ensure that uh, in terms of security, uh, we want to limit the inconvenience as much as we can. However, uh, giving its prestige uh, in terms of hosting both the President of America and the Indian Prime Minister, including of course, our friends of the Pacific who will be here. We have engaged with both the FBI, CIA, uh, our uh, counterpart uh, security personnel from both uh, America uh, and obviously uh, the Indian team also. And so we are across how we will manage the space from the 18th right down to the 22nd uh, of May. So I, again, want to just give comfort uh, some of our important caution out to our citizens in the city. Uh, one in one particular area of the airspace, uh, for those that you do operate drones, uh, there will be notices out that uh, you will not be able for a week to use drones in and around the city. Uh, appropriate notices will be put out so you are familiar and you understand uh, there will also be notices out on uh, different routes that will be used on that particular day so we all understand early and that we'll try to manage traffic but again the ease of public movement but it's such a significant day that from particularly from the 22nd uh, 21st 22nd uh, there will be a lot more presence of our men in uniform uh, and the next week you will see the citizens of Port Moresby, you will see a lot more presence of our military joint force team on the streets doing foot patrol. But more at the same time, you get to appreciate uh, the level of engagement that we're going to have with our leaders in Port Moresby. So in terms of security, Mila Givin Belisi, Dr. Korsemlo, general public, Mipla, we are prepared. We are ensuring that there is, uh, we're not causing so much of an inconvenience, but everyone is moving at ease and we all get to participate in this significant event. Thank you, Prime Minister. All right, thank you. This will be a start of, uh, and I just want to indicate to the country, last year I made contact with uh, almost uh, all the big economies of the world. I one-on-one -on -one met many uh, leaders. I met Japanese Prime Minister, I met uh, Canada Prime Minister, I met UK uh, then Prime Minister, uh, French President, uh, Indonesia President, Singapore Prime Minister, many of the leaders, I want to indicate to us uh, there will be a floor of international leaders, uh, leaderships coming to our country this week, uh, uh, sorry, rather this year, as well as next year, going forward towards 2025 of our nationhood. The Indo-Pacific conversation uh, is incomplete without PNG featuring in that space. Uh, Pacific Island combined nations, the 16 of us put together, occupy a substantial airspace, sea space, and land space. The, our region is an important region in the middle of global conversations. Whether climate change, or regional safety and security. Uh, and so we live in an exciting time. PNG is taking lead in the regional issues. Uh, we speak for our Pacific brothers and sister nations, the climate change issues, the sea level rise, the economic stress, we go and they go through. Uh, and so, uh, this week leading up to next week Monday is a start 
of many, many other leaders who are visiting our country, that I could assure every one of you. I never indicate to you that uh, this visit has been worked upon for over six months. Uh, it is happening as we speak. Uh, in June, in July, in August, there will be a few more visits coming to our country by big leaders, leaders of big economies. And I want our country to uh, turn up big to welcome these leaders. Deep in all this conversation, our national interest, especially our national interest in pro progressing uh, and growing our economy is embedded. And I want to assure each and every one of you, PNG interest and Pacific interest is deeply entrenched in all these engagements. Uh, we stand to gain in a world of connectivity with big economies. Uh, PNG has a connectivity to big economies. Uh, our citizens must rise beyond petty issues we go through. It is work in progress to build a bigger economy, and a bigger economy sustains our country now and, more importantly, for the future. So, uh, encourage the media, please do your job, encourage our citizens to capture the moment, live the moment, and let us prepare for the future of our country. Thank you very much. Anyway.